Let's create a new function called display results with an incoming variable called data. Inside, let's console a message. Now let's call that function from inside the API function. We should be seeing a message in the console. If you don't, stop and fix your code before you move on. Let's open the JSON data in the console and find the name of the town down here. If you hold your mouse over the name and wait, it will show you the value you need to use. In the JavaScript, let's set the inner HTML of my town, which is the constant we created up here, to data.name. When we refresh the page, the name of the town appears on our page. That is a reason to celebrate. Now let's insert the weather description, which is just slightly more complex. In the console, open the weather triangle and the array element zero. Hold your mouse over the description. You should see weather zero dot description. In the JavaScript code, let's set the inner HTML of my description to data dot weather array element zero dot description. And just like that, you have two values from a server somewhere in the world inserted into your web page. Pretty cool. Now let's do the temperature, which is a bit more complex than what we have done so far. In the console, open the main triangle and mouse over the temp. You can see that the JSON path is main.temp. Let's set the inner HTML of my temperature to data.main.temp. As you can see, it appears here just like we hoped. Now a temperature without a unit is pretty useless. So let's use template literals again. Add back ticks, a dollar sign, and curlies around this value as we learned previously. Now add the entity for a degree, followed by F for Fahrenheit. Refresh your page and celebrate your success. The graphic for the icon is the most complex, so we saved it for last. As you already know, when you insert an image into a web page, you need a source and an alt for it to be valid. Let's create a constant called icon source. From the Open Weather Maps website, let's copy this sample URL as the value. Replace the icon name with dollar sign open closing curly. Add back ticks, open the console and expand the weather and array element zero. You should see the icon value. Inside the curly braces type data dot weather array element zero dot icon. This URL should display a graphic. In our HTML, we have markup for an image with an empty source and an empty alt. We will use JavaScript to set the attribute source of my graphic to the path we just created. Then we'll set the attribute alt of my graphic to the same thing we used for my description. Oh, how I love copy and paste. At this point, the data is here and all four required items are displayed on our web page. I hope that after seeing this problem solving loop four times with slight changes, that you feel comfortable adding other weather data if you needed to. Now let's tackle some CSS. 